Hello, my name is Mike Berlin, and I'm the module convener for public history and practice. This module aims to introduce students to key aspects and issues in the practice of public history. It will provide you with the theoretical and practical skills to undertake critical assessments of different examples of public history. To do this, we will explore a wide range of different forms of public history, from museums and exhibitions to public history in the media to the role of history in contemporary political debates. At the core of the module is the opportunity for you to apply the knowledge gained to construct your own unique public history project. Each year, millions of people around the world construct and consume public history. They might be taking part in a commemorative event, either a national event or indeed a family anniversary. They might be visiting a local history museum or going on a guided tour of a city or historical site, or even dressing up in costume as part of a historical reenactment. Increasingly, public history is produced and consumed online via history-themed television programs or the vast genealogical research engines or violent video online games that have historical themes. We will use all these examples for the basis of exploring questions of both individual and collective identity in modern society and how it's shaped by our concepts of the past. Our explorations will help to inform your individual projects. In this module, we will explore how history and a shared sense of the past is fundamental to the idea of the nation state. Even before history was a formal discipline, it was used by communities and emerging nation states to solidify and celebrate identity, to define shared values and ideologies, and to justify and explain present-day social relations. While national history has matured in the late 20th and early 21st century and grown more critical, it still aims to unite, to celebrate, and to narrate the story of a nation. Nationalism is often expressed as a shared historical memory of common experience, most often linked to collective acts of sacrifice, of mourning and memory. National identity coheres around anniversaries of battles and other great events and reaches its apogee in solemn calendrical ceremonies linked to particular places and sites. Whole parts of cities and landscapes and countries are devoted to this memory. In this module, we will address the question of what happens when settled nation states fragment and fissure and new alternative histories begin to emerge to contest the national historical narrative. We will ask, how can these national histories account for the difficult stories of trauma, abuse, and oppression that lie hidden and ignored and censored at the heart of the national narrative? In Britain and other countries with past deeply rooted in colonial exploitation and oppression, alongside of those countries traumatized by the experience of 20th century dictatorship, public history, as we shall see, has a critical role to play in coming to terms with these legacies. What place is there in a post-colonial, multiracial society for national history based on these older legacies? How do we fashion the concept of a national past in light of events such as the Brexit vote and the rise of a new populist politics based on often ethnically centered neo-nationalism. These questions, alongside a host of others, will be explored in this module.